Hi, my name is Fran Botzer. I am a certified Gerson Home Setup Trainer here with another juicing video with the Pure Juicer. Today I'm making a green juice that has Granny Smith apple. I have cut the uh, core seeds and stem away. It is now six ounces worth of Granny Smith apple. On my greens, I have six ounces. I've measured out six ounces of greens also. Though the six ounces of greens, six ounces of apple will give us eight ounces of juice. So in my greens, I have a quarter of a red bell pepper. This should be a green pepper. The reds were cheaper this time, so I bought red. I have uh, romaine. A few romaine leaves, these are small, so it depends on what size your romaine leaves are to how much you use. I've got red leaf, I've got green leaf, um, red cabbage, and you just want to use a little bit of that. It can uh, produce gas if you use too much. Um, the inner leaves of the red beet. It calls for escarole and endive, and today I only have the escarole, and I have a charred leaf. So I will um, load the feed tube with an apple and a leaf before I turn the machine on, and that just helps prevent any kind of uh, kickback at all. I'm taking my juice tray and I'm setting it underneath the feed tube. Um, this is to catch any of the juice that releases during the grinding. Um, so I'm setting my juice cloth out to release the, the pulp right onto the press cloth. I'm going to turn the machine on and start pressing. <laughs> So I'm going to pull out the grid, the grid holder, and I've used a number 10 grid for the green juice. The greens are more fibrous than the carrot. I use an 8 on the, the carrot juice. And I just remove as much of the fiber pulp as possible um, and then set the grid tray aside. Um, and then I'm going to take the feed tray off and just look for that little bit of pulp that drops out. Put it back on. The machine will operate with the feed tube on. Um, does not need the grid to be on to operate. And I'm just going to move this over to the side and um, put my greens together, fold toward me, and then away. and then forward again, and then just roll like a burrito. And you can see in the, in the tray, there is juice that's released during, um, just due to the press plate, or the pressed juice, 
And then I'm going to set my um, jar just right under, center, center the um, juice cloth in the juice tray, and turn the machine on again. So I'm raising the tray at its highest speed. And as soon as it makes contact, I'm going to reduce the, the speed a little bit. Bring the jar up close. And then I can control the speed of the pressing just by rocking back and forth the uh, press lever. So with a pure juicer, you can allow the juice to be extracted from when the stream of juice becomes a stream to just drops. This may take a minute. Uh, it just depends on how much water content is in your in your leaves. So that 12 ounces of produce between apple and leaves has now made an 8 ounce juice and it's now dripping. We're good to go. I'm going to release what juice is in the tray, turn the machine off, and then look at what we have left, this insoluble fiber does not have to go through your digestive tract. And you've got pure juice for healing. Thanks for watching and look forward to more videos.